Hi everybody, time for my third review for Ipsy and Scentbird. And today we're going to have a little addition to my video with reviews for some other things. Um, I already got most of my makeup done just because I don't need to do it for the video. The products I'm going to be trying today um, are just for afterwards. Uh, but for Ipsy today, got this little cord-like bag. Not kind of my favorite bag, but I like the red on it. Um, I went through it, and they had finally sent the card that I had mentioned, I think, in the first video that they haven't sent in the last couple months. It was just a list of all the products of what they sent and just what they're for. Um, just some good stuff. There is a thing on here for uh, Lush and Bronzer Duo, which is great because that's what I use for my face powder most of the time. There is one thing that I did go ahead and use because it needed to be done beforehand, and that was this rejuvenating mask here. Um, Evo Beauty uh, looked up and retail is $22 for 1.4 ounces. Uh, this here is 0.5. Uh, I don't know if it, I necessarily felt rejuvenated or not. It smells amazing. I didn't put a whole lot, but it felt like as soon as I put it on my face, it immediately dried. I said to leave it on there 15 minutes, which I did. I just did dishes. Um, but it smells amazing, and uh, my skin does feel a little bit light somehow. Um, but everything else that we've got in here, we've got this CZ cream. I know it's not like I said ZZ, but CC. Um, it's just a color correction, full coverage cream. I'm going to try and use it as my foundation today. Uh, I don't know if it's necessarily used for that or not, but I'm going to use it for that. Uh, it's retailed at $39.50 for 1.8 ounces, and this says it's .135 ounces. I don't know what that means, but it's little. And then we also have this eyeliner here. Uh, John Tableau. I don't know. Sounds French. Uh, never heard of it. It's supposed to be waterproof. So before I put that on my face and test it, I'm just going to do a little sample like on my hand just to see. My eyes water a lot, so I don't like to wear eyeliner too much and yet it's the only thing I really truly like to wear makeup wise get off there um, that's retailed at nine dollars for 0 0.04 ounces I don't know uh, this says 0 0.06 so not bad um, black felt tip, which I don't know how well you can see that, but this is my favorite kind of eyeliner. It's a liquid eyeliner that's also a pencil, and you can definitely do a lot more precision work with that. Um, here's what I'm definitely excited for. When I tried to look up retail value for this, I couldn't find one that was just um, these two. Uh, just says matte blush and bronzer. 100% cruelty free, which I'm happy about that one. Um, this is Desert Sunset. Um, when I had looked it up, uh, it was $18, but it had two other additional uh, colors with them. Um, Rose Gold Shimmer and just Glimmer Shimmer. Uh, yeah, this doesn't necessarily really say what these two particular colors are oh, I'm sorry it does uh, just sunset matte and desert matte I guess either way I don't care I'm happy that there's a duo there uh, oh and there's also some nail polish in here that I'm really excited about because it is a very dark red it's almost like a what I call blood red, which is one of my favorite colors. Um, that is this here, number 18. Uh, this is also $18. Uh, 
I don't know why. It better dry quick and it better stay on for a long time. But we'll do that last. Uh, as I'm doing the nail polish, I do have some other stuff, uh, not from Ipsy or Scentbird, um, but other products that I have bought and tried, and I will give you some reviews about that as well, good and bad, I guess. But let me go ahead and get started with this real quick before I dive into the other product. It has a SPF, it just says 50 plus. We'll see. This is a little dark, it looks like, but we'll, we'll see how it goes on the skin. Ooh, I think I put a little too much on there. That's okay. But I'm not fond of foundation too much. I just can't ever find the right shade. It just cakes on my skin and it just looks bad before I even get out the door. And I found some good brands, but well, I go on nice, but by the end of the day, I look like a mess. But this feels very lightweight. I don't know if it's necessarily covering what I need to. I have natural lighting in here. And, of course, the ceiling light fan. But well, it looks like I've got most of it. I'm just so red in the video. I can't quite tell. I know I have it technically covered everywhere, but... I don't want a whole bunch on me, and I apologize for the sniffing. It is allergies, I promise. It's just that time of the year for me. It actually smells really good, which is weird. I'm not mad. So, little blush bronzer. Just mixing these two the best I can. It's picking up a bit more blush than bronzer, which I'm not fond of. I already look red enough as it is. But they give you a good amount. I'll also be using some mascara that I had gotten from Ipsy a while back before I started doing the videos and I was absolutely not a fan of it. It just really made my eyelashes look weird. But I didn't want to throw it away because I said I would at least try it again at some point. And I ended up mixing it with another mascara that I should probably get rid of because it was dried out but I ended up adding just a little bit of water to it which for me helps me. Um, but, uh, it's been so long now, I can't even read it. But, um, and that was another problem, immediately. But, oh, there goes my other mascara. But it was just unnecessary, I don't know. I don't know how well you can see that, but it just did not have a lot of coverage, and yet at the same time, made my eyes so goopy. And this one, the NYC, I had for a long time. Like I said, I should probably throw it away, but just really like how it goes on. And you can, it gave me a lot of coverage, but I ended up using this first and then this over to try and just. Kind of balance it out, and then one day I used this one, and it went on perfectly fine. So it must have been something I was doing wrong. We'll put that on in a minute. But here's what I'm excited for. So this says that it's waterproof. Definitely goes on thick. My hand there. Try and dry it out before I toss a little bit of water on here. Not quite dry yet. Do need a towel of some kind. You think I'd have brought one? 
but no. So I will use a shirt. No big deal. Okay. All right. It's supposed to be dry. Put a little water drop on there. No. There we go. Didn't run, but definitely smears. So it's not waterproof at all. Uh, I'm not shocked. But I'm going to wipe this off real quick. Unfortunately, it doesn't seem to want to wipe off that well either. There we go. All right. Let's toss that behind me real quick. I am going to use it though. My eyes feel like they've finally dried. Does go on really easy. Listen to the Golden Girls in the background here. It takes me a while to get the hang of this. And that went right in my eyeball. We'll see how quick it waters. Sorry for not talking. I'm just really focused here. I'm going to be stepping out of the house here for a little bit. I don't want to look like a complete fool. And now my eyes are completely uneven. Awesome. Now I gotta figure out what I did with the right eye that now I want on my left eye. No matter what I do, it's just one eye is different than the other. Yeah, I'll fix it in a minute. I can't quite tell. There's just so much redness in the video. Maybe too much light. But we'll get to the mascara here. Yes, I came from another Epsi bag some time back. I think definitely this summertime. But I don't know what I had done wrong. As everybody knows, I'm not a big makeup person, so I'm very ignorant when it comes to how to properly apply something. Definitely see the spot I need to touch up with the eyeliner real quick. I do it every time. Here we go. A little bit better. I'm not going to be putting anything on the bottom of my eyes. Because uh, now my eyes going to start watering again. But now we can get to the Scentbird perfume. This one actually had some negative reviews on it. So I wasn't looking forward to trying it. But... Uh, I did spray it once, and I thought it smelled good. I have not tried it on me, though. I know sometimes perfumes smell differently on the person, but it's called Red Panda by Sanctuary. 
um, for almost three and a half ounces, it is $98. In my mind, no perfume is worth that much because I tried expensive perfume and by the time I'm out the door, I can't smell it anymore. But, sprayed on my palm. Oh well. <laughs> but, whew. Okay. Now I kind of see what they're talking about. It's uh, very musky. At a distance it smells great, but up close and it might just be the, the alcohol in the perfume. But as it's settling, it actually does smell a little bit better. That is strong though. Of course I did. We'll do four or five sprays, but I have to be balanced, and even everybody knows that about me. Um, let me get to the nail polish. I'm just gonna do one nail, uh, I'm not gonna make you guys suffer any more than you already have, but we'll see how long it takes to dry. And in the meantime, I will be doing those other reviews I was talking about with some other products. And I'm shaky, so I feel like I've got nail polish all over my finger. But this is just one coat, so it's obviously not as dark as the bottle. I'll do my reviews and then I'll put on a second coat because it should be dry by then. So what I was going to show was um, for a while now there was, it's called Black Diamond. Um, I've been using it again. I used it a while back and just got lazy about it. This stuff, they tell you to use five times a day. I don't think it's necessarily that necessary. <laughs> but um, anyway, it's not as easy as just brushing off um, like they do. Oh, I'm sorry. I'll be right back. My eyes watered. Okay, all right, I'm back. So anyway, it does whiteness. They say that it does, but it's not an easy process. Um, there is no taste to it, just kind of like you have chalk in your mouth. Um, but it leaves black in your gum lines. And uh, you can't just rinse it out. So what I've been doing is I brush my teeth like normal with just a normal toothpaste cleaner just to kind of get any gunk off that I from eating and stuff like normal um but then I will use this and it's just a very powdery substance you you wet your toothbrush and mind you you want to get a whole separate toothbrush for this because it will stain the bristles um but you get your toothbrush wet you actually just dip it in the powder tap the excess off and brush your teeth like normal um but then what I've been doing afterwards is I have an electric toothbrush and I use a whitening toothpaste and go over my teeth again. So it's like you're brush I'm brushing my teeth like three times, but it does do a really good job immediately. I don't remember what I paid for it because it was well over a couple years ago. And there's still a lot left in there. Um, let's see if that's pretty much dry now. I'll go ahead and do the second coat. But I do like the Black Diamond stuff. It is a process if you have the time for it. Um, now that I have a different job, I do have more time to take care of myself the way that I would like to. Second coat on this, not really too much difference. But so what I wanted to get to as well is Burt's Bees. Everybody knows what this stuff is. I got it in a package deal a while back because I wanted to try different things, start taking care of myself better. 35, and I don't want to be aging anytime soon. But anyway, love the chapstick. It's fantastic. Uh, 
This is coconut and pear, not a center flavor I would care for, but for the product itself and what it's supposed to do, fantastic. These things. This is the peach and willow bark um, deep pour scrub. It's got all the little gritty stuff in it. Smelled pretty good. I felt it did amazing. Uh, I used this stuff about a little over a week ago. This was great. Now for the rest of it. This is the soap bark and chamomile deep cleansing cream. I had used this while I was in the shower and I immediately felt like my face was on fire and I couldn't get it off my face fast enough. It burned so bad. I don't even know if it did what it was supposed to. I just wanted to get off my face. And even after I rinsed it off my face, my face still felt like it was on fire. My face was so red. I couldn't stand it. I said, never using it again. A couple days later, I thought I would try the facial cleansing wipes with white tea extract. This also burned my skin. Not nowhere near as bad as the cream did, but this was ho horrible as well. Uh, I don't know if anybody out there, if you guys use any of this, but you are more than welcome to have these if it works for you. Otherwise, I'm just gonna throw them away. I will not be using it again. I do have sensitive skin, but I didn't think it was gonna light me on fire. I don't think I've ever had a product do that before. This is a well-known good product and I love their other stuff. But yeah, if you use either one of these two, and if you want them, they've only been used once each, you're more than welcome to them. Um, thank you for watching again. Sorry I kept you so long. I uh, hope you have a great day and please like my video so I can be cool and awesome. And please share it. Thanks. Bye.